Hi guys, this one's been in storage for quite a while, picked up in a charity shop a long time ago. I have done videos flying it, and while I'm trying to tidy up my workroom, I found it again. Looks like it's got a bit crushed where I've chucked other stuff on top of it. Is that glued down? No, it's not. Yeah, tail looks a little bit sad. Looks like I put tape on that before to stiffen it up. Actually, that seems to be all right now that I've squeezed the tape. So. On, but I've left the batteries in there, of course. Yeah. Oh, wow. Did you hear that? It does sound effects. Right, looks like there's, it's not charged at all. So we'll switch it off again sits on there to charge it up which way round could be that way around right red light is flashing indicating it's charging there's no way we're going to fly it indoors it needs a fair bit of space to maneuver Clearly, I've added nose weight on it at some time. So we'll shut that down again. Yeah, that didn't look as bad as I thought. I think that is actually a replacement tail that I've cut myself out of a bit of foam. Not sure, but I've certainly put sticky tape on it to try and stiffen it up. It's a little um, <sighs> coil and a magnet. So that's your steering. Obviously, it, it's a ornithopter. It flaps. It's got a pair of wings. Which are pivoted in the middle. And it does fly. But you really need a very calm day for it. It can't handle wind at all. Either a very calm day or a big indoor area. Yeah, well, we'll let that charge up and at least see if it flaps and then I'll stick it in the car and we'll give it a run sometime when the weather is right. Uh, what details can we look at while we're doing that? Oh, yeah, I have to chase after it to keep it in range 15 to 20 meters 70 milliamp hour lipo battery inside it weighs 14 grams charges for 15 to 20 minutes flies five to eight minutes 27 megahertz flying ebird Colourful flashing LED lights increase the fun of flying at night, which actually is not as silly as it sounds. There's less wind at night, so you could actually fly it in a calm evening. Got manufacturer on it anywhere?
No, nope, just says Flying eBird. I don't see a manufacturer's name. Say anything on the remote? Nope, nothing on the remote. Nothing anywhere telling me who it was made by. I think I'll leave it on there so it doesn't fall off. Yep, that'll do. It's finished charging. It's a shame I wasn't filming when it finished charging because it actually sings to you. I don't know if we can set it up to do it again. But as soon as it had finished charging, it started singing. And, oh, I put that on there to try and straighten up the tail a bit. But so if we go... Here we are. Yeah, there we go. And tail. It relies on the wind going by to straighten it. But then if you hold it to the right, it goes to the right. Hold it to the left, it goes to the left. And say so the wind straightens it up. And it sings. <laughs> so, yeah, if we get the right sort of day, we'll go out and give it a try. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and leave us a comment so we know how we're doing.